Star Wars fans, this is Darth Watson. In this video, this is going to be my review video of Episode 6 and 7 of The Bad Batch Season 3. And uh, the, they were both pretty interesting episodes, especially with Omega revealing a little bit more about what goes on on Mount Tantus, why they're testing the clones. And it's for a simple project called Pro Project Necromancer. And they're looking for something, someone with a high M count that could be sustainable for what Palpatine is planning to do, which Palpatine is planning to clone himself for the rise of Sky for for his return in the rise of Skywalker, which he eventually makes his return in the rise of Skywalker. And the whole project Necromancer plays a huge part in Palpatine's contingency plan. And that's what makes Mount Tanta so secretive. And with like Dr. Henlock and Palpatine working together to work on Project Necromancer. I mean, it's really starting to connect and things are really starting to connect as each episode comes out of the Bad Batch Season 3. Things are really starting to connect with Palpatine's contingency plans for the Rise of Skywalker, especially when Palpatine wants to clone himself so he can transfer his conscious to a clone body just in case his plan doesn't work. And that's a part of his contingency plan. And Palpatine always had a contingency plan. So as far as like Omega, we get to see Senator Chuchi from the last season. And we get to see uh we get to see Omega get a new uh weapon, a new energy crossbow, as well as uh because he as well as uh, Crosshair's redemption, I think Crosshair is totally redeemed and has already built up the trust with his brothers again, and decided officially decided not to, not to, uh, not to go for the Empire anymore, realizing how corrupt the Empire is and uh, how bad the Empire is for for Crosshair, because Crosshair realized it at the end of Season 2, and we started to see a redemption arc. Now, I didn't think a redemption arc for Crosshair would happen, but it turns out I was wrong, and Crosshair is redeemed and has already built up the trust with his brothers with the rest of the bad, with the rest of Clone Force 99. And with Omega almost being captured, but Hunter convinced... Hunter convinced them Hunter convinced them to do the right thing and let them all go which uh that's going to piss off the empire because the empire's not going to be happy with with those clones that let omega and the whole clone force 99 go and uh omega has to be brought back unharmed because she's very important to the empire and vital to palpatine's plans and that's what they discovered with omega after she escaped Mount Tantus. But anyways, uh, that's all I have to say for this video. Do make sure to smash a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video.